Okay, this is what I'm going to endeavour to show you to make just to get the idea started of motion. So there's your angle going round and round. Once you've got this, you can do a Ferris wheel really easily by just um, grabbing this point. So basically you go from here, angle of given size, and go bang, bang, and you can choose, maybe which is 90. And then um, again, one, two, and choose 90. And then again, one, two, and choose 90. Stuffed up, never mind. Get your general idea, and then um, we need a vector, and so we can grab the vector from there to there. Vector, vector between two points from there to there, and then I can just get it so I can easily, more easily select this. If I was um, to go translate. I can grab that and pick the vector and the whole thing has gone over and the vector if I can grab it, it's circle, it's no good. Okay, I can actually make the vector but you can't see it. Uh, wrong thing. If we can see our vector here, vector U and we don't want to show it. That's fine. I don't know where that's come from. I'll just delete it because of that. Okay, so now you get the idea. Alright, so from scratch, file, new. Okay, you need sliders. So you need a slider for the size of the circle, should you choose to have one. So I'm going to go 1 to 5, increment of 1. I'll call it A, that's fine, and then I'll do another slider, and that will be an angle, and that's fine, it doesn't really fine. So then we're going to do a circle, we're choosing the circle with the centre and radius, so we've got the centre, and then the radius is going to be A, so that's your first thing that, uh -oh, that happens, um, delete that. You've got to go back to the selection tool so that you can move your slider. Right, so there we go there. Now I'm going to need another a point on the circle so that it's free there and I don't want to show its label. I'm wanting to rotate that so I need to select angle with given size and go one, two and then use the alpha and I think the alpha's already in degrees, so you, if you have the degree sign here, degrees, degrees, mucks it up. I'll go clockwise for a change. So now I've done that same mistake, because it's so tired today. There we go. Alrighty. Now I don't want to show that properly. The label. I don't want to actually show this point, so I don't want to show that, and I don't actually really want to show that. So I won't show the object at all, and I don't want to show that um, label. Okay, so now I've got kind of, just in case I want to change the size of the circle, might not want to, and that's going around. Okay. So if I right click and go animation on, You can see that just goes nicely round and round. So I've got my motion sorted, more or less. So now you can put any shape you like there. So I think just to speed things up, um, I'll go here and go a segment with a given length from a point. So I'll go like that. And the length, I'm actually going to go A divided by 4. That's actually when I'm changing the size of my circle, that's actually should be changing as well. Just look. 
Okay, and I don't want to show that label either. Now I'm just going to use any old um, regular polygon. So I'll go one, two, and I could put four, but I could equally put five. It doesn't really matter. There must be um, of these points. It's very annoying. Oh, put that one there. That they're showing there. Oh, they're not showing the label. No, that's right. Okay, so there we have that spinning around. Now you can put whatever you like there. So don't worry so much what the object is, the, the more more the fact that you can do what whatever. So now what you do is you go angle with given size so that you select the leg point, then vertex, and into size. So it's selecting what? I don't want that angle. Whereas my angle was given size, selected that, select lead point, angle, and we'll go 90 degrees. And we'll select lead point, angle, 90 again, and lead point, and center, 90 degrees. Now, I don't want to show that, I don't want to show that. I don't want to show that. I don't want to show the label. M must be a setting that don't show labels. Okay, and now what we can do is translate. We could have rotated that whole object, but translating it gives a different effect. So we find here a vector between two points and just go like that, and like that, and like that. And then we want to do the translate objects by vector. So we select our object, then our vector, select our object, then our vector, select our object, then our vector. Now we don't want to show that. We don't want to show that. We don't want to show that. This one, object properties, we might want to make it pink. Um, we might want to have it quite full and like so. This one, object properties, line thickness thicker, filling a bit more, dotted and colour something else. This one, object properties, line green, thick, bit of a filling. And this one, object properties, colour whatever, tile whatever, filling whatever. And now, you can actually change this one. It's actually, if you're going to have a filling, it's way better to do it last. Because if you do it um, at the start, it really mucks things up. Uh, in fact, if we're going to have a filling, we only want a little filling with that colour. But when you right click, it finds the circle rather than whatever else you want. Now with this, we want to right click, oh, or animation on, or just push play here so you've got a kind of a um, your ferris wheel going on and you can actually change the size of it as well N now you could add all sorts of different um, things into it and I'm just now really just playing to show you uh, what's possible well, it's all playing anyway isn't it um, so if I just take segments for example I could silly but you know you can do all sorts of stuff uh, I think of the other one I might have sort of dressed it up a bit like that doesn't really matter and I shall stop that's enough blah blah today